don't forget, y'all know I'm trying to hit my goal of 100 subscribers by the end of December. Today is the 7th. We got 24 more days to hit that 100, and we're up to 86 subscribers. So thank you, family. I love you. My day ones, I love you. My newcomers, I love you. Holla at your girl. Y'all help me hit the goal. We only need four more, 14 more. We can get that in a day. I mean, I'm just saying. What's up, fam? It's your girl Q back at Blessed to Be a Blessing, where we are blessed to be a blessing. Boom, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Queens episode seven entitled Who Shot Ya? Okay, we finally get to see the episode where somebody gets shot. We find out who got shot. Watch to the end. I'm not going to tell you right now. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So the girls are booming. The ladies are booming. They're, excuse me, they're going on their world tour. They, they're getting their billboard put up. Eric's like helping them make real good moves, okay? So it turns out Eric borrowed $750,000 to pay off Muffin's uh, debt with the record label. Honey, he borrowed it from Jada Kiss. What he do that for? Now, you know he a, Jada is a rapper slash gangster on this show. I don't know if he a gangster in real life. But anyway, so... That came out, you know, Muffin's been living with him or whatever. So Jada and his gang came to the house and was like, look, where my money at? You supposed to have $100,000 on the 11th today, the 11th with money. So Eric like, well, you know, we just signed with the tour. We gonna, you know, the tour gonna boom. I'm gonna have the money. He was like, mm, sound like you ain't got my money. I'm gonna give you to the night. So boom. Uh, Muffin overhears it and she's like, well, I know what I could do. Some dude want her to do a private show, come to his party and hang out with him or whatever, but he's willing to pay her $250,000 to do it just for a couple of hours. So Eric like, all right, all right, I'll let you do it. So he goes with her, of course, to protect her. Well, it turns out the little dude just want the old Muffin who wants to party and snort powder and get drunk and high and all that. And so she, she was tempted though. He was like, mm, I want the full Muffin in. I'm not going to be paying, you know, $250,000 and you ain't going to give me the full Muffin if you ain't planning to do no lines with me then psh. so she was strong she just let it go which is good you know they'll find a way to get the money so boom that was that honey how about miss valeria <laughs> i guess this is why it's entitled who shot you because we everybody got a little problem with somebody so with eric it's like hmm did jada kiss shoot him so um anyway so Valeria, remember last week, I think I forgot to tell you but that the producers of the video shoots, um, they caught Valeria's mother on camera taking pictures of her credit cards in her pocketbook or whatever. So Valeria still doesn't want to believe it. Well, so she ended up going to Eric and was like, you know, get a little P.I. on her, find out who this lady is and what's going on with her. Turns out the lady ain't even her mama, child. She is scamming her. Okay. It ain't her mama. This woman got a long rap sheet up in the prison so many years off and on or whatever. She's just a crook, basically. So Eric told her, don't go to the house and say nothing to this lady. She was like, no, nah, that beep got to get up out my house or whatever. So anyway, she tried to play it cool. She get in the house and she called the lady by her real name. So the lady's like, oh. she's like, oh, you still being paranoid. You know, she's still trying to con her or whatever. And she was like, don't try it. I seen your whole rap sheet, honey. I seen your police report, everything. I know about you. So the lady's like, okay, yeah, you busted me or whatever. She's like, but before you go, get, she, well, she was basically like, get out of my house. But before you go, what's my mother's name? I know you know her. So the lady was like, yep, I do know your mother. You think I don't, I wouldn't know who she is. If, uh, you know, how else would I know all this about you? So it turns out that her real birth mother doesn't want anything to do with her at all. Y'all, I don't know why. I guess we'll find out why or whatever. But this is part of why Valeria is so insecure and ruthless. So, um, the lady, she was like, just tell me her name. So, the lady was like, as long as you don't go to the cops. And so, she's like, no, I ain't going to go to the cops. She was like, well, you better not. Because all that stuff you saw on that rap sheet is true. I did all that. She said, but the worst stuff that I done, I never got caught. So, don't play with me, girl. <laughs> I said, Lord, this lady crazy. So she ended up choking her, choke slamming her up against the wall and everything, threatening the girl. So Valeria's like, I won't say nothing or whatever. And she told her her mom's name. Well, the lady was following her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The lady was following her and sure enough, followed her right to the police station. She saw her coming out of the police station. She was sitting in the car and she had a gun in the car. So I think the shooter is the lady. Because when the shooter got out the car at the beginning of the episode, it, it was the shoes looked like shoes for men, but that was a small frame. It was a smaller frame person. So I think I, I knew from the beginning this is a woman. I really think it's the woman that was playing Valeria's mom, but they didn't reveal that yet. They only revealed who actually got shot. So long story short, 
um, Naomi is now going on a date with Rodrigo, which is the producer dude, well, the, the video director from last week. And so they go on a date. Turns out this is her first date ever in life. She's never been on a date. Just all these little casual little whatever one-off relationships, but um, never a real date. So anyway, she went. She tried to sabotage it, and the guy was not going for it. He like, mm-mm, nope. Because she's like, let's go do it. You know, trying to make it like she just want to hurry, but jump in the, pit, in the bed with him. He's like, nah, that's too easy, and I know you're not really that easy like that. So I'm not going to let you get off the hook. So anyway, turns out the restaurant they went to uh, is the restaurant that um Brianna and Jeff uh had their first date on and they would go every year for their anniversary so because Brianna was going with her to be a chaperone <laughs> so funny so but when she got there and she saw the restaurant she's like why didn't you tell me you were coming here I can't go in so she left her so Naomi had to go in there by herself so anyway while Brianna's at home drinking and just really sad and grieving real hard over Jeff at this point she just have all these memories and flashbacks and stuff like that and so she was just texting um uh, Naomi like I miss him the and that's when she told her that was the restaurant we met at and all that stuff so um Naomi just told Rodrigo look I gotta go I really gotta be there for my girl you know I, I'm having a good time but I gotta go he was like okay cool this is the first time the only time you're gonna ever hear me say go ahead and go because he's feeling her right so happy for that Eric being a little hater though like low-key watching her texting and smiling like what you smiling for like boy bye okay you still flirting with Valeria Okay, you just now found out you the baby daddy. Just deal with that. So anyway, that's that. And then Miss Jill, the thrill, honey, still been feeling herself a little bit. She over here working her side deal with Wycliffe, y'all. But I ain't lying. The little track they was working on was hot. Jill was spitting bars on it. She was spitting hard too. And uh, he ended up getting her to sing as part of the hook too. So he like, what? Well, you can sing and rap? Oh my God, you must be a unicorn. Like Wycliffe, why is you trying? Well, everybody know L Boogie, Miss Lauren Hill was the first we ever seen a uh, black girl rapping and singing. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now you stuff that in your Fuji. So, yeah, anyway, so Jill's doing this behind the girl's back. So, she ended up meeting up with Tina, honey. And Tina read her her rights. She told her she was an evil person, how she was selfish. And she just used people for her own gain. And how she's a horrible person. And she going to get what she deserved so boom that could be who else that could be another person who is the shooter but tina's a real tall woman that person in that car did not look tall so jill was feeling some kind of way behind that though you know she's like dang you know i'm out here hurting people whatever so she ended up telling the girls that she made a song with white so they looking like what she's like i just had to tell y'all didn't want to you know not tell y'all want to so they like okay they didn't trip so when she got back to the studio he was with him he's like you know what jill i really want um after your tour with the nasty girls or queens i want you to go ahead and me and you do a tour do a whole album she was like oh man it sounds good and everything but i just can't continue to manipulate the people i love and just do the people i love wrong you know i wish some people i know would have that kind of reckoning with their uh, with themselves but I digress. So anyway, she decided she wasn't going to go ahead and take him up on that offer. So kudos to Jill. You know, she forgot she's a Christian too. And I know she didn't come out as lesbian and this whole lifestyle has been fun to her, but she forgot her morals somewhere and she really need to go and get back with her husband and quit playing. That man love her. It was a good man. So anyway, that was Jill's story. Um, and who else am I missing? That was it pretty much. So then they all get together. Oh, they all was at the house with Brianna because, you know, she was sad and stuff over uh, Jeff. And so she had something left over. And she was like, he told me to, this is something he, the last thing he gave me before he died. It turned out to be a video, y'all. He literally recorded a video and he was like, you know, if you watching this, that mean, you know, he didn't make it. And it was just telling, confessing his love and talking about little things from the past and remember this and remember that. And, you know, talking about how much he loved her and everything. And that he wanted her to just do, live her life and, you know, don't have any regrets. Just move forward and be happy and everything. So they're all crying and everything. So Eric gets uh, uh gives them a text and it's like, you know, the billboard's coming up right now. Go, it's, it's up right now. So, that, uh, you know, they decide they're going to go and look at the billboard because Brianna was sad. She wanted to do something that was happy. So they're all out there admiring the billboard. And this is the scene, the who shot ya, okay? And here comes the person out the car, grab the gun, run up on them. So Eric's like, no, wait, wait, wait. I'll get you the money. I'll get you the money. Uh... 
before I go there, let me say this, because Jada Kiss then rolled up on Eric again, this time with his gun. Like, where, where my money at? So they end up, uh, he end up, well, they jumped him, and he ended up trying to fight back a little bit, and he got away. And so that's when he led, went to the um, scene at the uh, with the billboard. So I think that Eric thought the person with the gun was part of Jada Kiss's crew coming after him. So he was trying to protect the ladies and he got in front of all of them were like, no, 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 don't. The person shot, pow, caught him right there. So Eric, he goes and charges the person. He grabs them and just slam them to the ground and the person, pow, let one more off. And so uh, he tried to, you know, they tussle a little bit and the person gets up and they run off. I swear it was a woman though, y'all. That person was too little to be a man. So anyway, or unless it was a small man. So anyway, he turns around. He's like, I'm sorry, y'all. Let him get away. And when he turned around, that's when he realized somebody else had got shot. Honey, guess who it was? Child, it was Brianna. You know, I did not expect that. I thought it was going to be Jill. I really did because I... I just didn't expect Brianna to get shot. Like, who did y'all think was going to be the person to get shot? Let me know in the comments what you think. So, it ended like that. And I guess next week it's going to pick up from there where they're rushing um, Brianna to the hospital, y'all. And they're acting like she ain't going to make it. Now, they killed Brianna off, played by Eve. They just doing the most. Which it could be possible because Eve is literally in real life pregnant during the show and the taping. So maybe she going to be sick for a while and take off or whatever. I don't know. But I don't think they're going to kill her character off. That's stupid. Okay? Unless y'all just, they just, ABC want this to just be a, a one season type of show. But anyway, that's what happened on tonight's recap. Make sure you check it out if you have it. It's on Hulu. Uh, you can catch it like early this morning, 3 to 5 o'clock in the morning or tomorrow. And um, check it out. Or if not, check me out. Okay, I got you caught up on the, on the episode right here. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all, don't forget, y'all know I'm trying to hit my goal of 100 subscribers by the end of December. Today is the 7th. We got 24 more days to hit that 100, and we're up to 86 subscribers. So thank you, family. I love you. My day ones, I love you. My newcomers, I love you. Holla at your girl. Y'all help me hit the goal. We only need four more, 14 more. We can get that in a day. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> Go ahead, like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't. And then um, I'll be back at you next week. You know I'm here with your recaps, all right? Again, thank you for tuning in. Remember, you reap what you sow, so you better sow some good. Good night, y'all.